Alright, and welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. Yes, it's been a while since we've, uh, since I've done one of these, but it's, I've been pretty preoccupied with other things, and I haven't had time to really focus on this. So, um, I learned something new today, that's why, and kind of my stance on it is whenever I learn something new, immediately record it, and put it up on the internet so everyone can see and use it as reference. So basically, I, we're going to go ahead and unwrap this tire. And there's a really interesting process of how to do it. And it shouldn't take very long. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we have this tire. We're all modeled out, ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and apply a checkerboard material. And I've already had it set up. And uh, this is what we have as far as that. And, you know, it doesn't really look very pleasant to look at because, you know, a checkerboard material, you know, you would think that you would see squares everywhere. But, you know, you don't really get that with this because we have to unwrap it. So, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to first I'll tie that because I would use that as reference. And then we'll go ahead and just select this tire and sort of figure out how we're going to unwrap it. So we have the threads here and then we have the base of the tire right here. So the first thing we're going to do is unwrap the threads. So basically go ahead and just select all these faces. Um, now, obviously, there's a there's obviously a faster way to selecting them all like you know I could just go ahead and do this but at the same time though I run into this problem I don't want to have to select all this you know along with it so I figure you know do it the long way but at least the right way or the correct way so uh, be careful as far as selecting each piece because Maya has a tendency to I guess select a piece that you didn't um, intentionally want to select and then what ends up happening is when you unwrap it, you have this weird funky design or this arbitrary piece in it because you selected it by accident. So, all right, so I don't think I've selected anything over there. So, all right, so once you have that, we're going to go ahead and do a planar map to this. So let's go into our create UVs, planar mapping. Let's go into our planar map options. And we can see here we have, you know, some options here as far as what we can do, like fit to projection, best plane, or by bounding box. We want to keep it within the bounding box of the 0 to 1 frame. Um, and then as far as projection, we have the x-axis, the y-axis, and then the z-axis. So um, basically, you know, with your little gizmo right here with as far as the view axis, you know, how are you going to project this? I mean, if you're going to project, project this from the x-axis, you would only get basically from where my mouse is all the way down to here and that's it but you would be excluding this part right here and that is not necessarily what you want to do because then that would cause you to do more work than what's needed so the easier way to do this is to unwrap this from the y-axis which is going to be from a bird's eye view but at the same time it's going to allow you to unwrap the entire um, portion that you have selected without having to resort to you know doing more work than that's what's necessary so we're going to go ahead and select the X, Y axis, keep image width ratio, etc. Keep that, insert projection before demormers, that's fine, apply. And then here we go. So now we've unwrapped it. Now it looks a pretty, pretty strange here. So let's go to our UV texture editor and just sort of drag this out. And one problem I'm noticing right now off the bat, off the bat is that it's not, it's horizontal. I want it to be vertical. So. If, obviously something went wrong with our with our um, unwrap and looking over here on the rotate axis I can see that hey wait a minute it's at a 90 degree axis um, angle and that's not right on the rotate X axis so let's zero that out let's go to the rotate Y let's go with 90 and there we go so now that should fix that problem there you go so now it's no longer vertical obviously I could have just turned it around but figures I'd show you the process of why it did that so you've selected the UVs and now you know that hey all these are selected but now just looking at the tire itself we got another problem look at these stretch marks right here it doesn't look right I mean you have all these checkers right here which look fine but when you go up here it stretches so in order for us to fix this problem we're gonna have to make a cut in the thread at the bottom just so it would allow it to stretch out um, completely so to fix this problem, we're going to go ahead and go into our UV texture editor. Let's turn on text, toggle texture borders. So then this will highlight um, the borders 
um, so they stand out a little more. Otherwise, you can go to display, polygons, custom polygon display, and texture borders. So we're going to make a cut on the bottom portion of the tire. So select your bottom edge, go to edge mode, select the bottom portion, and then we're going to go ahead to our UV texture editor and we're going to make a cut. There you go. Okay, so once we've done that, this will allow us to unfold it um, a lot easier and it's going to solve a lot of problems. See, if we hadn't have done that, this is what happens. We go and try to unfold this thing. This is what you know my Autodesk's algorithm end up ends up doing. It completely distorts the entire thing into a line, which doesn't make any sense. You would think that the people at Autodesk would have some sort of algorithm that would fix this problem. I mean, you've gone through so many versions of Maya, and yet this still is a problem, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. So, but you know, who am I to speak? of that because you know I'm just the person who uses it but at the same time hey you know you want to make a good product for your customers who have to use this on an everyday basis so you would figure that hey if this you know this problem is you know still exists that needs to be solved otherwise it's just going to be a hassle for everyone so basically just kind of undo all that and we're going to go ahead and make this incision at the bottom so cut it there you go so once we've cut that, we're gonna it's gonna un unfold a lot easier. So let's unfold it. Go to the unfold options. Let's all unfold it on the vertical constraint. And there you go. And let's do a horizontal for safe measures. And there we go. Okay, so now this looks a lot better. So once we exit out of here, we can see that oh my gosh, the texture, you know, checkerboard flows very nicely. So that means that you did something right. So there you go. All right, so let's just kind of ramp this up, and let's just select the rest of these faces here, and let's do another planar map. So I'm just going to select all those faces. Um, how I'm selecting them like that is hold down Shift and then press the period key repeatedly until you select them all. And then we'll go into our UV texture editor. Let's just deselect this so we don't unwrap that again. And then we're going to unwrap this again at the same time, same way, planar map. From, from Instead of from the y-axis, we're going to go from the z-axis according to this. Apply. There you go. Pretty simple. Same thing. Select the faces over here. Select them all over there. Make sure you get everything. Go to your UV texture editor. Same thing. Deselect that. Come on. There you go. Create UVs. Planar mapping. Z-axis. Apply. There you go. So now... Once you have done that, you're going to take this tire right here, move it over here, take this tire, move it over here, and so on and so forth. So Now we can obviously go ahead and maybe unfold these tires, but I don't think it's going to give us a really good result in the long run. But we'll try it. Yeah, see? Kind of shitty. So we'll just undo all that. But anyway, that's pretty much the process of unwrapping a tire. So now you've got a really nice looking checkerboard material on your tire. So your unwrap has been a success. So now what you can do is you can select the tire itself. Let me just delete history. And you can put these in its own UV sets if you're going to want to do some texturing, especially for the threads. Like if you're going to want to add dirt and debris in there and all that other good stuff, you're going to probably want to put this in its own UV set. What you can do right here is create UV, oh, to UV, copy UVs into its own UV set. And then you can go back and forth from the UV set from app 1 to that, etc, etc. So, but that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful for you, and enjoy.